Hello everyone, my name is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to talk to you about a feature of the node that is optional and which works with org mode. And this is the ability to use the so-called org dynamic blocks to generate content given certain parameters and when you want to regenerate, recalculate that content, thus updating whatever uh, it is matching. I want to show you this in practice uh, because I have been making a series of changes and refinements for the current uh, development version of the node, version uh, 2.2.0. Uh, this is still the early stage of development. Uh, I don't have a release uh, target yet, uh, but it will be some time away. Uh, nevertheless, I want to show you what uh, is in store for you when that uh, new version is eventually released. Uh, let's uh, start with uh, creating some nodes. I have here configured a temporary directory and I just want to start collecting my thoughts on a given topic. Uh, standard uh, node creation at this uh, point. Uh, let me write a file and, uh, for example, uh, this is a file about uh, my dog, let's say. And let's say this one is Atlas is Naughty. So we have that. And the keyword that I want to use is, um, let's say, dog. And uh, he bullies uh, the village uh, cats, for example. Okay. Uh, I save this. Let's uh, create another node. And uh, let's say that uh, uh, Atlas enjoys the mountain. Enjoys the mountains. And again, let's use the same keyword that I had before. And uh, we go on long walks every single day. Okay, this is good. And now let's create a third node, which is a meta node. And this will be a meta node, or we can say, let's do it like this, the way I would actually do it, which is about Atlas. And this one has the keyword meta, which is a short for a meta node. Meta nodes allow you to collect your thoughts on a given topic. Uh, for which you already have nodes, meaning that you have all these individual nodes and then you bring them together and you consolidate your knowledge about the subject matter or anyhow you get to see an overview of what we have. And this is where the org dynamic block functionality comes in handy. Uh, let's see this in practice. And let's say that I am writing something here, some introductory remarks uh, or whatever, you know. And at this point, I want to insert the dynamic block. The dynamic blocks that have been supported up to now are uh, the denote links and the denote bank links. Uh, let me show you how this works. I will do mx denote uh, org d block. Let's uh, have it here and you will see here the available commands and the two that are supported uh, with the current stable version of the node, version 2.1.0, are those two. So the links and the backlinks. Uh, let's see this uh, very quickly. Uh, search for nodes matching the given regular expression. Of course, because of the nodes file naming scheme, you don't have to actually write a regular expression. You can just uh, do, for example, underscore dog, and this will match all the files that include dog as a keyword. And in this case, this dynamic block generates a list of links. Let's uh, save this. And now let me show you the new feature, which is part of the current development version. And this is the ability to insert files. And the syntax and the way you go about it is the same. But notice now that this here has inserted the contents of the files verbatim as they are. And it has included a separator between each file. Notice here that there are these 
parameters which we can modify and of course we can't change the rejects here to change what this matches but let's uh, play around with these parameters let's set this to true no front matter when you want to update an org dynamic block you do Control C, Control X, Control U, and you can see what it is. Uh, the command it is calling on my mode line org d block update. You will notice here that it removed the front matter from the files it inserted. Uh, let's now do the file separator. By default, it includes this separator, which you may or may not want. Let's say that I want the separator to be something like an ordinary string here. And I will do this. You will see hello and hello. Of course, the ordinary string does not include the new line character. Now I am adding the new line character. And you see what you get. Basically, this is up to your imagination how you want to go about it. Maybe you want just a new line like this. And there you uh, have it. If you don't want a separator at all, you just set this to none and uh, you are good to go. No separator whatsoever. It's really up to you how you go about it. The other interesting feature is the ability to add links. And uh, let's say T and let's see what this does. Let's add links, but let's keep the separator to at least a new line because I think this is better than having no separator. And when you do that, when you add the links, what the node will do here is it will add a link to the file and then the contents of the file and format everything as a typographic list. Because this is org, typographic lists can still be folded with the tab uh, key just like this. So of course, when you have an actual file, it will be longer and it won't be just a single line and just like this you can quickly fold it and see what you need to uh, check whatever that is uh, why would you want to have uh, dynamic blocks now uh, but before i go into that before we we talk about the why let me show you this the no front matter can also accept a number and let's see how it is by default one second by default, it inserts all this, right? Let me, one second, set the, my font to monospaced so that everything is aligned nicely. Uh, no front matter by default uh, shows everything. But you can give this a number. Let's say I want to omit the title, but I want to keep the date. And I know that the title is always the first line. So I say, you know what? No front matter and the number one. And what this will do is it will omit the first line of the file from the uh, output of the um, org dynamic block. Uh, same idea if you give it an, an, a higher number, let's give it the number three just for the sake of the demo. This is the idea, folks. Uh, but yeah, not to uh, belabor the point, let's say uh, set it to the T value and we have something like this. It is very nice. Of course, these are links, meaning that you can just follow them and go to the actual file right here. Now, why would you want to have a dynamic block? Why not do this sort of list on your own, you know, link it one at a time? The benefit of this is that when you revisit this file, you can just uh, update the block again and it will populate it with new contents. Let's do this right now. I will create a new file, okay? I will create now a new node, which is about, uh, let's say, um, Atlas likes uh, his uh, new food, whatever. And uh, let's say this is still about the dog and uh, it is the best thing ever. Whatever, okay? Something like this. Let's go back to the previous buffer and all I want to do here is bring in this new data that I have in my knowledge base, bring it into this meta node. All I have to do is update this uh, dynamic block and there I have it. Of course, same idea with all dynamic blocks, right? So the same is true here uh, and this one is just the denote links uh, block. 
uh, whereas the other one is the denote files uh, block. And just like that, you have all this uh, ready to go. Uh, the same is true, of course, for the backlinks. You just include the backlinks block and uh, it uh, generates uh, the output the same way you would expect over here. The denote files uh, block is part of the current development, as I have said, and I still want to make some refinements to it. However, uh, I already like what is the here. I think the feature set is looking very promising and I am sure people will find this very, very useful. Uh, I have updated the manual of Denote, uh, by the way, and uh, you can uh, check it to see a description of all the parameters that are given to the Denote uh, files and, of course, the Denote links um, org dynamic blocks. This is all for today, folks. If you are using the development version of Denote, if you are uh, building directly from source, please give this a try and uh, let me know how it goes. Let me know what you uh, think of it. Check the manual of Denote because I really take a lot of time to write in detail what Denote is doing, what are the options, what are the features, how to use them, that sort of thing, okay? So please take a look. Please let me know what you think of this. If there is something we can do to further improve it, if we need to make any other additions and so on. That's all for today, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care. Goodbye.